Okay, I'm going to show you how I fill out the functional behavior assessment frequency analysis chart in the classroom. Um, of course, I'm not doing this within the classroom right now, but when you are, you will want to use a clipboard to have um, this wonderful little chart on. And um, I like to use a pencil for this so that if I um, make an error while I'm recording, I can fix it really quickly. Um, this is the one sheet that I will print off and actually handwrite. I will edit pretty much um, everything else on the computer. But um, first, you're obviously going to record the student's name and the date. I'm going to skip that since it's just a demonstration. And um, you're going to start with a time, and you are going to use the exact time. So if the time is um, 10, um, 10 you're going to write down 10 and um, you're going to watch. And if you've observed a behavior um, up here within this area, you are going to note that for number one. So let's say that um, someone is fidgeting. That's usually what I see first. I'm going to put a number one there. Then I'm going to look over into the predictors category over here. I'm going to say, um, why were they fidgeting? You know, what, what did I notice that was a factor causing that, that restless fidgeting? So um, oftentimes they're working on something and um, it might be what they consider a difficult task. So I'm going to put a one there to correlate that with this original number one. Um, if you don't know, if you truly don't have a good guess, and this, this is a guesser, um, then go ahead and put an unknown predictor there. That's totally fine. Um, then you're going to look over here at these perceived functions. You're going to say, okay, what's going on here? And we're going to go through all three areas. Um, are they getting something? Well, when you're fidgeting, you're most likely getting self-stimulation. And then you're going to look over here. Are they trying to escape or avoid anything? And while well, they're probably trying to fidget so that they're avoiding whatever they're currently doing. And then over here, what's my response or the teacher's response? Typically when I'm at the observer, um, when I'm doing this sheet here, I am not responding. I am just um, an observer within the classroom. So um, typically when it's a common fidget, the teacher just ignores that. So you've got all of your ones across here. We're going to go down to the events and we're just going to mark off number one so that we know we had one event there. Um, this is really helpful because if you get sidetracked watching something else, recording some anecdotal notes, and you forget which number you're on, these numbers down here are really helpful to help you realize, oh yeah, I was on number you know, 22 or, or, or whatnot. So um, let's say that um, right off the bat, something else happens. It happens to be um, two minutes later at 10.04. You're just going to jump to the next line. You're going to write 10.04. And um, you notice that the child is making some noises now. So you put a two here, because that's the second behavior that you've seen. And you're gonna walk through all the steps again, like you did um, above for number one. And they're making noises because um, the attention was on others. And um, you know maybe their best friend was working and they're trying to distract their best friend. And over here, they definitely are looking for attention now, so that's a number two. And then um, they are, again, probably trying to get out of a, an activity or a task. And again, these are your best guess. You can say unknown on that if you're not sure. And um, this time the adult in class actually, the teacher in class actually did redirect and say, hey, get, get yourself under control, whatever. Um, if there's something interesting that pops up, um, a word that's said to the student that escalates a behavior, I will often write down here, um, number two, and that they were told no. Um, and maybe after they were told no at 10.05, um, that elicited a different behavior and, um, you know, they became off task now. So now we're on number three. I'm going to mark off my number two so I don't get lost here. And then I just go across the board again. Um, some of these can add up quite quickly. You know, it's not uncommon for a student that you're observing um, in a 20-minute period to have well over 20, um, 20 different observed behaviors. Um, because of that, I usually have extra sheets of these printed off so that I can flip to them. Um, and I have tried before 
to note um, more than one within each line, you can do that to save space. Um, you will often have a harder time reading your handwriting at the end of it um, and just a harder time keeping track of things. So that's the basic gist of it. Um, again, you're going to go across here for number three if you wanted to finish. Um, if I was going to finish out number three, um, they were off task. Um, and again, this one was an easy one because they were told no. So I can put a three there. Um, and they were trying to get that attention of someone else. So that's, oops, sorry, that's another number three. And um, they were probably trying to get out an activity. And then depending on how the teacher handled it, um, they might have provided assistance on an activity to help get that student back on track. So this just continues down. Um, you might go a few minutes without having an incident. And if that's the case, then you know down here you just start at 10, um, 10, 12. Maybe you want a seven minute period without. If you want to write your numbers for a time a little smaller here, you can put the duration. So you could say 1002 through um, 1004 if you'd like. Um, the math is not hard to do. So if you don't have time to do that, that's not a problem. But um, again, I hope this helps you out. And um, as always, if you have any questions about any product that you've downloaded, feel free to message me and um, I'm happy to give any extra assistance. And thanks so much for helping manage the behavior of others. I know it's a challenging job and keep up the great work. Take care.